Hi, <laughs> I am unboxing this before doing the unboxing. I just wanted to get this tape off so that we can get on with what's in the box. So today, let me get this in focus. I am unboxing my new backup drive. This is the Lacey or however you say the word, uh, five terabyte rugged Thunderbolt USB-C, as you can see. I've got one of these already and let me explain to you how I do my backup because it's a bit crazy. I wonder how you do yours actually. I'd like to hear from other people as to, I know a lot of people use the whole RAID drive thing, but I'm just not quite comfortable. So this is the way I do it. I've got one of these and then I've got two of these and they are multiplying on it. So this one is the same as this one and the same as the third one. I'm not sure if that's the best way to do it, but that way I know in my head that whatever's on this is on the other two. I manually do the backup, so I copied over my footage from the computer to the three hard drives. Um, I know that sounds crazy, but for me it just feels like the safest way. And the reason I'm using two different brands is I just want to make sure that uh, nothing goes wrong with the one brand. So I'm sort of like, not only am I, uh, spacing out my possible malfunctions over three drives I'm also doing across different brands so but what's happened is that I've run out of room on these five terabytes so I'm now going to split sort of my family personal stuff and and my YouTube stuff over two separate hard drive backup streams if you like so this will have the YouTube stuff and I'll only back it up to one more of these and then I'm going to wipe the others and sort of redo my backup system and have the three let's say family photos will be over the three and I'll have the YouTube stuff just over two so I'm gonna have two of these and three of these if you know what I mean so three and then two on the other side anyway let's get on with this unboxing um, let me show you what's inside uh, my in focus. Let's just zoom in a little bit on this and I'll unbox it. So I'll t try to take this tape off, but it's stuck back on. So it didn't make any difference. Uh, if you watch my channel, you know that every single one of these unboxings, there's some sort of drama that's happening. Either something falls or I can't get the thing off or whatever. I don't know. Let's see. Anyway, let's go in here. So. I'll probably drop this in a minute. That's it. It's empty. And let's have a look at the hard drive first. I'll do it in reverse. Normally I show you the best thing last, but let's go with this first. So here it is. It comes in like a little, uh, what do you call this? Rubbery sort of plasticky thing. So you, the hard drive can actually come out. I have taken them out of there before. So they just sit inside this cover. And the cool thing about these is they've got the cord attached to them, which is also really good. So, and, and it comes in this little, sits in this little sleeve. So this comes out and you've got your Thunderbolt there and you've also got your USB-C, which I'll be using. I think they're about to produce or they have already just the USB-C, but I couldn't get it in a five gigabyte. So I don't know, maybe they just make the four. I'm not sure. I'll leave the link down down in the description to this one. Uh, and this cord just untangles and it's connected permanently to this. So it kind of sits in this little groove, which is cool. And you can pull that away. So if you were Thunderbolt, this would be really good because it's all on board and you don't have to worry about the other stuff. But if you're USB-C, then there is a separate cord in this box that comes uh, with it. I'll just pull this up just in here so that's USB-C to USB-C and you would just plug that in so I'm on the um, and there's also this other one I forgot to show you that one that one is the USB-C to I can't remember I think this is USB USB-C to USB USB-A I think I always get these mixed up anyway there's several cords there which is good and let me just go back to me so that you can see me and focus a little bit more so yeah that's the hard drive and it's five terabyte and it's got all these fancy speeds and and etc let's see I think there is a little thing on it here so that's the how fast it is and what it does etc so just leave that on screen for a second and what else is there? Three-year data rescue. Let me show you the back. 
and I will show you that side as well. So yeah, I've been using these for a couple of years in different um, configurations, as in different terabytes, and they've all been really reliable. I've not had a problem with any of them, uh, nor have I had a problem with the Western Digital. So I'm just spreading my, you know, risk across different brands, but really they're both good. This one's obviously a lot bigger. Let me show you the Western Digital just for comparison. So same... Um, storage size but a lot uh, a lot smaller this one is uh, however this one you've got the rugged and it's metal versus I think this is plastic versus metal yeah well metal I don't know anyway the yeah I started to go with these because they're so much smaller but I'm not sure whether this is a better option long term for all of them uh, yeah this one's also more expensive than that one so Lots of things to think about. Oh, I never sort of know where to lay my egg with the whole backup. It, I've gone through different ways of doing it. I used to have a big drive that's plugged into power. Uh, I used to do the RAID thing as well over like f two or three drives some years ago. I didn't like that. I just feel like it's, if something goes wrong, I know you can rebuild it through there, but I just, I don't know, having worked in computers before, I just don't trust. I just feel like this is a single unit and it's, safe and that's a single unit safe if this goes wrong this is completely unaffected so yeah that's my way of doing it let me know i mean i know people store it in the cloud as well it's so so such a hard um topic because as the cameras get you know 4k 6k 8k 12k the footage is getting out of control and where do you put it how many times do you back it up do you even back it up is youtube enough like it's sitting up there now do i actually ever need the footage I don't know. It's complicated. Let me know what you think. Um, try and resolve this dilemma. But anyway, I thought I'd share with you how I do it and what I use. And hopefully that's of use to you. And I'd love to hear from you in the comments. Um, let's start a chat. Maybe um, some people got a better way of doing it and we can learn from each other. So yeah, if you like this video, subscribe. Sorry, it was a bit sort of all over the place, but I just do them live unscripted. And the way they come out is the way they come out. So um, I will see you in the next one. Subscribe if you like and like and comment and all that stuff. Bye. <laughs>